hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so today we are solving question 4 from tutorial sheet 4 and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel kindly do so so that you don't miss out the uh, questions that i'm going to be sending i mean the solutions that i'm going to be posting on the channel so um the question is saying use the remainder theorem uh write the function in the form uh, px minus i mean px is equal to x minus k and then qx plus r where qx is the quotient and r is the remainder so in other ways what they are trying to tell you is that so uh, they they are simply asking you to to do as this to factorize this and then you've been given the value of k here so in other ways they are trying to tell you to say this value of k is just uh the factor you've already been given the factor so if the value of k if the value of k is um so if the value of k is for instance this one is two so it's going to be something like this x minus two this is what has what we've been told according to the question here so x minus two this is the value of k which is two so one when, when you are doing this when you are solving simply equate that simply just equate this to zero so x is just going to be equal to two so what you can do now you can either use synthetic division or long division to divide that in order for you to find the quotient so write our two there then we write the coefficients we have one another one we have negative 12 and then plus 20 and then i said okay we've been given the value of k quite all right but sorry uh, in my first statement maybe i made a mistake by saying uh then x minus 2 or x minus k is a factor no it's not a factor but you've just been told to say uh once you, when you divide this uh this given function here uh given the value of k into this expression into this expression you have to get a remainder r yeah and then you write it in that format so we bring down this one here two times one so we've, we've just brought down this one there two times one we get two and then we add two and one we get three two times three six negative 12 plus 6 negative 6 2 times negative 6 we get negative 12 when you add that you get 8 so this is simply uh, the remainder that we've been requested to find and then qx is the quotient so how do we write qx so our qx will now just be equal to uh, the coefficient of x squared in qx is 1 then the coefficient of x is 3 then the coefficient of i mean the the constant is negative six so i mean to write that uh polynomial px in that format we have to write it this way so we already have our x minus k there which is x minus two then our qx is just simply x uh, squared plus uh, 3x minus six like that and then what is our remainder our remainder is simply just eight so this question is not very much different from question two hence i'll not solve a lot of questions from here i'll just solve a few of them okay okay so the other way you can find the remainder is just by finding p of two in other words i'm trying to say if this is your if this is your uh, p of x where there's x you put two you put this two you replace wherever this x replace to you are going to get your answer to be eight meaning the answer that you get is your remainder okay so now let us quickly move on to the next question so let me solve uh maybe this one then the remaining two you can solve once i'm done with this one maybe we call it a day so i can solve this one and if i'm going to have time i'll also solve this one and that one but let me first solve this one so you do the same thing the same steps 
so we know to say our k is equal to the root of 3 so meaning we have x uh, minus k which is x minus the root of 3 is equal to 0 meaning this is the factor so meaning the value of x i mean this this is not a factor but we use this to divide into the given polynomial so the value of x is just simply the root of 3 so what you do is you can use synthetic division or long division to divide that so i'm going to use synthetic and then i'm going to have one as the first coefficient have two have negative three we have negative 12 yeah so if there will be time enough for me to solve i'll solve uh, even these two and then i'll I'll bring down this one and you multiply that and that you get the root of 3 and then you add this and that you are going let me just be demarcating you're going to get uh, 2 plus the root of 3 so when you multiply this root 3 times that you're going to get 3 uh, root 3 times 2 you're going to get positive 2 root 3 and then when you multiply uh, th root 3 times root 3 you get this 3 here so when you add these two you just get 2 uh, root 3 because this negative 3 and that positive 3 will cancel they will subtract you get a 0 there and then here you get that so I'm just demarcating in order to show you what is happening so that you don't confuse the numbers then you do what's this once you do that you multiply this root 3 times that you are going to get uh, 2 times uh, 3 because root 3 times root 3 you get 6 I mean you get root 3 times root 3 you get 3 so 2 times 3 you get 6 so here instead of writing this let me just write 6 and then when you add these two, you're going to get negative 6. So you're going to get negative 6. Then from there, we can now write our Qx. So our Qx will now simply just be um, x squared. x squared. Then we have plus... 2 plus root 3 x and then the constant that we've gotten is 2 root 3 so having written this we can now write the, the what's this the polynomial the, the polynomial x uh, in that form, I mean the polynomial uh, in that format which we have been told to write it so this polynomial now just be equal to uh, our, our 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 divisor was this which is um, x uh, minus the root of 3 this is our divisor then we write our our what's this our qx which is our quotient our quotient is just uh yeah this is going to be our what's this our q of x our quotient and then we write our this is the constant of the quotient which is uh 2 root 3 and then we close it like that and don't forget to write your remainder which is r so our remainder is negative 6 so instead of writing positive there I'm supposed to write minus 6 so that is basically how you solve such questions they are simple and straightforward so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video See you in the next uh, tutorial video, which is question 5.
שלום, שלום.